Rated T for Teen. Konnichiwa! I'm Meredith Zili coming to you from Yokohama, Japan, where we're getting a behind the scenes tour of the people responsible for bringing you the world famous SmackDown vs. Raw video game series, Yuke's Future Media Creators. Join me as we explore all that goes into making the number one wrestling franchise. From the months of planning to the sleepless nights of coding your favorite features, we'll meet the team that's bringing you the next great SmackDown game. Together, THQ and Ukes have created nine WWE wrestling games, and it's a relationship that continues to grow in size and scale. This year, THQ brings SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 to six gaming systems. So no matter what kind of gamer you are, there's a version for you. But before we go into depth about this amazing new game, let's sit down with the founder of Ukes Future Media Creators to learn how THQ and Ukes began their award-winning partnership. When we looked at the market in North America, we saw a couple of wrestling games in the top 10. So we decided to take the chance in the wrestling in the North America. The publisher of the Japanese wrestling game was talking to THQ. THQ was thinking of changing wrestler into Blonde and American. My creator didn't like the idea. But when THQ got the WWF license, THQ came to us and asked us, would you like to make it? So I said yes. Located in the heart of Yokohama, Japan, Yuke's Future Media Creators has over 100 employees dedicated to the development of WWE games. This year's SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 video game has taken the team over 12 months to create. In fact, they start the development process before the current year's game ever ships. Well, Yuke's is a very, very strong developer, very, very reliable, very, very hardworking, very, very dedicated, and very, very proud of the work that they do. It's very unusual for me to work with someone so strong like this. Every milestone they turn in is on time, almost to the minute. Um, every feature that they promised is in there and in a working order. The amount of passion and quality that's in the milestone is apparent from the first time you turn the button on. And they're a great partner with us. We um, help manage some of the creative work that's done on the product, and we create a lot of the creative uh, vision for the product and they enjoy and appreciate our creative uh, input, but they're the ones that really put the, their nose to the grindstone and pound this thing out and make it uh, such a great product. This year's game showcases four exciting new features that'll change the way you play SmackDown vs. Raw forever. Let's take a look at how Ukes has taken this game to the next level. For the first time ever, gamers will be able to choose specific fighting styles for the characters they create. Plus, the game will offer specific fighting styles for each WWE superstar. We sat down with Corey Ledesma, project manager for THQ, to talk about the game's eight new fighting styles. One of our big features this year is the superstar fighting styles. These are eight unique fighting styles that the players can uh, play with, and it's almost like a fighting game where now you have to learn each style to see their strengths, their weaknesses, their strategies. Um, and so it's changing the landscape of how you play. There's eight different fighting styles. Um, each fighter has a primary, each superstar has a primary and secondary fighting style. And each one of those has unique abilities, whole new strategy, it's a whole new way to play the game. The first one is a showman. The showman's all about showing off to the crowd. He's the arrogant guy. He's the Randy Ortons of the WWE. He looks to taunt first, humiliate his opponent first, rather than go for the attack or strategic holes or anything like that. Another fighting style we have is the dirty wrestler. Dirty wrestler is all about the low blows, the, the cheating, the uh, knocking out the referee so he doesn't see them do the dirty tactics. Another fighting style we have is the submission artist. They're going to be very proficient at submission moves, submission holds, locking down an opponent and leeching stamina off them, leeching momentum. They're going to have the advantage when it comes to submission matches or any kind of matches that involve those kind of holds. Also, we have the high flyer superstar fighting style, which is the Rey Mysterio's of the WWE. These are the guys pulling off the high risk, high fly maneuvers. They're going to be able to just easily run to the ropes, bounce off, do a, a you know, high fly maneuver with just one press of the button. It's going to be very easy for them. 
Also, we have the Brawler fighting style. The Brawler is all about punches. Hard hitting, they are the Stone Cold Steve Austin, the John Cena of the WWE. They're just all about using their fists. We also have the Powerhouse fighting style. This is all about brute strength. These are the Batistas, the Triple H's. These are guys that lift you up. They can do whatever they want with you. They have all these powerful moves at their disposal. And last but not least, our eighth fighting style is the hardcore fighting style. This is perfect for the ECW brand that just invaded our game. It's all about weapons, brutal matches with blood and weapons and all types of new strategies they're gonna use. So they're gonna be the dangerous superstars in these hardcore matches. This year we've had a big challenge. We've implemented a number of different fighting styles that are new to the game. We've had a big challenge finding a good balance between all of them, making sure they all work together and none of them were stronger than the other. Developing these wrestling games for many years, as I have, I thought that the games have had a characteristic that even though you were playing as Rey Mysterio and the character looked like Rey Mysterio, when you performed any moves such as the pile driver or power bomb, Mysterio would damage his opponent the exact same way as any other character in the game. So even though he may have looked like Rey Mysterio, it didn't really play like Rey Mysterio at all. And I always thought we were cheating the user just a little bit. Now, this year with the fighting styles, we're able to offer the user the experience of playing as Rey Mysterio. We're taking our game to a new level. Look at these superstars go. The WWE's third brand is ECW, which this year invades the SmackDown vs. Raw video game series for the first time ever. ECW superstars are as extreme as you can imagine. And really, a WWE game would not be complete without their entertaining antics. We sat down with WWE team member Dan Ryan to give us more insight. I'm really excited as an ECW fan from way back in the days and uh, when it was just operating out of Philly. And now that they uh, brought it back, I was really excited about that. What's cool is it's going to be in the game. There's some new guys in there that have never been in a WWE game before. Sandman, the extreme icon, as well as Tommy Dreamer, the heart and soul of ECW, if you will. And who I'm most excited about, the homicidal, suicidal, genocidal. Genocidal, death-defying Sabu. We are very excited that the ECW brand is included in this year's game. The game will feature new ECW superstars such as CM Punk, Elijah Burke, and Marcus Corvon. I think fans will also be excited to know that Terry Funk, an ECW original, will be included as an ECW legend. Another cool feature that makes the game even more realistic is the new struggle submission system. Let's take a look. Having worked in this game for many years, I've never been completely satisfied with our submission system. When a user was put into a submission, there was nothing that they could do. It was very boring for the player to be in that situation. We had these new struggle submissions, which uh, actually used the right analog stick to control the amount of pressure and force that you apply in each hold, which is completely different from what we've done in previous games. It was all just random button mashing and you know, meters and all that on screen, which you know, really wasn't all that compelling. This year, our submissions are brand new. They're organic, they're, they're more fluid. They just make more sense within the context of the game. Using the right analog stick, both players, offensive and defensive, will now be able to affect what's going on in the submission. We're really trying to change the landscape of season mode this year. In the past couple years, they've been pretty similar, where we do introduce new storylines, but the same goal is to go to WrestleMania, to be in the title match, and to win the belt. That's your goal each year. And we were feeling that the fans might be a little tired of that goal. They might want to experience something new. So this year, we took it to a, a whole new level. And really what we're doing is we're letting the fans take a superstar, whether it's an existing superstar on the roster or one they create, and letting him uh, go through many years of WWE storylines to become a legend. SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 allows you to live the life of a WWE superstar. And what better way to do that than to create your own character? Now we're going to talk with one of Uke's lead modelers to find out how they're enhancing this popular game feature. 
Zamasan has worked on SmackDown vs. Raw for the past four years. Not only is she one of the few female developers here at Ukes, but she's grown into a lead role very quickly. Tell us a little bit how the modeling process has changed over the past four years. In the past four years, one of the biggest changes in the model creation process is that the number of polygons we're able to allocate to each model has greatly increased. In addition to that, and more on the art side rather than the technical side, is that with the help of the WWE and THQ, we've been able to get lots of great photo reference material for different parts of the body, which really make our models a lot more realistic. Zomasan, tell us a little bit about some of the enhancements to this year's Create a Superstar mode. New additions to the Create a Superstar mode this year are, first of all, that the number of parts has greatly increased over last year. We've added in a lot of cool new hairstyles that are more popular with the trends of today. And we have a new feature added this year where we're able to use multiple colors in the designs of each character's clothes. How many different options will a gamer have? In this year's game, the total number of parts is a huge number. There are about 7,000 parts to choose from. Where do you come up with your ideas for all the different options? U.S. fashions and Japanese fashions are quite different, so I've asked a lot of my coworkers to purchase fashion magazines or hairstyle magazines when they go on business trips abroad. They bring me trendy magazines from the U.S. as souvenirs so that I can use those for reference when creating new parts for the game. SmackDown vs. Raw always brings surprises, and this year is no exception. Here to give us insider information into this year's unlockable superstars is the man from Down Under, John Rowe. How you doing? Very well, thank you. This year we've got a lot of great unlockables for you. You actually unlock as you play through the game. So for example, if you want to unlock Terry Funk, you actually have to go through and successfully win a ECW four-way Extreme Rules match against uh, the greats like Sabu, uh, Sandman and Tommy Dreamer. If you want to unlock Bret Hart, you actually have to play against him as Shawn Michaels in the famous history match where uh, Shawn Michaels defeated him in a 30-minute Iron Man match. And finally, if you want to unlock someone like Vince McMahon, you actually have to defend your title at WrestleMania in our brand new WWE 24-7 mode. Uh, I can't tell you too much else about uh, the unlockables. You'll have to find them out for yourself but I can say that there may be a bald Vince McMahon there somewhere for you to find. <laughs> you think your job is hard? The Ukes team is so dedicated that during crunch time, they don't even go home. They sleep under their desks. Hi, I'm Meredith. Is this your wife? One of the greatest parts about working with the uh, WWE is the access we get to all the creative talent on the brand, not only the superstars, but also some of the writers. They're a fantastic group of people to work with. The amount of support and the amount of love we get from these guys is, is unprecedented. They really, really care about the quality of our product, and they bend over backwards to make sure we get anything we, we want from them. It's extremely valuable. It's almost like we have a whole new creative team that we can tap into that resource use them when we want, and they're really a, a great big help. And not only that, they're interested in working in the game. It's not they're just in their own world, the WWE storylines, and there's a lot of, you know, a lot to fill there, but also they like to jump in and add their two cents on the game and really put their own spin on it, because obviously it's their game, and so that's really a, a great big help. What do you think about your character in terms of appearance, skills? I think it looks just like me. I think skills are uh, right on. Actually, I think I should have been jacked up a little bit more. You know, I think I'm at like 83, 84. I should have been like a 91 or 92. I think that SmackDown vs. Raw is one of the most technological. Is that a word? It is now. It is now. Because I, I made it. That's an experience. That's an Elijah experience, by the way. But I think that's one of the most best games that's been made, you know, to date. I mean, that game, the real, the realism of the game, the action, uh, the movement, the just the overall quality of the game, I think is awesome. It is an incredible game. 
I started playing it, I was blown away. Because I was playing, of course, my character, the best character on the game. And I was blown away because it did my interest the way that I do it. And it kind of walked like me and it did the same moves that I did in the game. So I, I was pretty impressed. It is the most amazing feeling to be part of the game. Um, being in the 2007 game was the first game that I was in. And you almost feel like it's not real and you're the superhero. And it just really kind of brings the whole character part of it in, into life and into reality. Um, so to be part of the 2008 game, I'm just really honored to be a part of it. And now with the new technology that's out and where you actually get to do different people's mannerisms like Cena and Triple H, I mean, it just takes it to that whole other level of really feeling everybody's character for yourself. So to be a part of it, um, it it's surreal. It's like being a superhero. You know, you never really think like you are a superhero or your character because part of what I play on TV is partially me and I just exemplify it, but the game just takes it to a whole other level. You know what, being uh, in a video game is probably the best thing that's happened to me so far. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. I couldn't believe that when the first game came out two years ago that I was on, that you know it actually said Michelle McCool from Palaka, Florida. It, it absolutely killed me. I had a blast with it. And to be on the newness, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, I can't wait. I'm not a gamer myself, but I have a lot of nieces and nephews that are, and I think I can uh, handle them with this game. It should be fun. One of the things we all want to know is how do they make the WWE superstars look so real in the game? It's the animation and motion capture process. Check this out. When we first began developing the games on the PS1, consoles were limited by their technology. Everything was hand animated and we were challenged with trying to make animation look as good as possible, using as few keyframes as possible. As technology has advanced, consoles have been able to handle more memory so that the number of key frames that we can use has increased a great deal, which has only enabled us to create more detailed animation. Over the past few years, the amount of animation in the games has gotten so huge that we've started to use more motion capture than ever before. When we receive it, it's very smooth and very clean, almost too perfect for us to use as is. So what we do now is, after we receive the motion capture data, we open it up and we adjust it by hand to really make it powerful enough to have the force and all of the emotion that needs to come through in a game like ours. Our animators now manipulate the motion capture data and adjust it by hand to add in those things that just don't quite come through with the smooth animation that we receive. World War III just started here tonight. Someone's gotta stop this. This year, SmackDown makes its world debut on Sony's PlayStation 3 gaming system. Let's see how Ukes took this award-winning franchise to this impressive new system. Taking advantage of the PS3's technology, we are able to create superstars with realistic skin textures and veins that are actually able to sweat. We are also able to create realistic shadowing on the face of each superstar, which goes a long way toward making them look that much more real. One thing I'd like to tell fans of the series is just to forget about how they've played SmackDown vs. Raw in the past. This year, players can take Rey Mysterio, Randy Orton, or Bobby Lashley, for example, and feel as if they're actually controlling them specifically. The focus is less on building toward a finisher at the end of the match, but more so on utilizing special abilities specific to each fighting style from the second opening bell rings. One of the things I would love to see implemented in the future is an online Royal Rumble. I think it would be awesome and totally fun. What we really wanted to do was take a look at all the various technological advances and figure out a way that they could be implemented in order to make the overall experience of our game better. This is the approach you can expect from us in the future, as we're obviously excited about the new technology, but not at the expense of our gameplay. I always have to look forward keep up with the market. The market needs more bigger title. Then we have to grow the team. Based on the great relationship we have with the WWE, it's starting to expand. We're starting to look at all sorts of new ways to bring this brand to the interactive market. I can't really tell you what the ideas are, but let me say that it's going to be very exciting. If you want to live the life of a WWE superstar, pick up your copy of SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 this holiday.
The all-new Superstar Fighting Styles let you take advantage of unique movesets and character-specific fighting abilities. The new 24-7 mode lets you experience real-life character development with more than 30 career goals and stat tracking, allowing you to become a virtual WWE legend. And don't forget all the other great features like environmental hotspots, more out-of-the-ring action, and all-new struggle submission system. You can't deny it. SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 will be the best WWE video game yet. But well, we've had an amazing time here in Japan. Special thanks to our gracious hosts at Ukes, the WWE, and all those at THQ who made this possible. And last but not least, thank you, the fans, for joining us. Be sure to pick up your own copy of SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 this fall at a retailer near you. How will you play?